The universe and the Earth never fail to captivate our curiosity. Despite the vastness of the universe, we still have much to discover, and on our planet, we have barely scratched the surface of what there is to explore. When talking about the deepest depths of the Earth, humans have only explored a very small fraction of the total observable area. While exploration attempts have been made and a substantial chunk has been explored, when compared to the relative size of the planet, it seems insignificant. Hello and welcome back to DocuFlix. To explore the extent of human exploration in the depths of the planet today, we will look at the deepest holes humans can dig with the technology we have available. Throughout history, humanity has always been fascinated by the depths beneath our feet. But just how deep can we go? To find out, stay tuned. And before we start, do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. At 2 meters down, we have the standard grave depth, where the daily departed are laid to rest. It's also the depth where you find buried treasure, depending on who you ask. Moving on to 10 meters deep, we find the maximum depth that a typical metal detector can detect. So, if you're hunting for lost artifacts, this is as far as you can go without some serious digging. At 30 meters deep, we enter the realm of the Paris Catacombs, an underground ossuary containing the remains of millions of people. This labyrinth stretches beneath the streets of Paris and serves as a chilling reminder of our mortality. Plunge to 60 meters below the surface and we find the deepest ice core ever drilled, which provides invaluable information about Earth's climate history and helps scientists understand the changes happening today. When we go deeper into the 300 meter range, we get to the Woodington Dean Well, located in the Woodington Dean area near Brighton, England, which is an impressive example of a hand-dug well reaching a depth of 392 meters, 1,285 feet, below the Earth's surface. The Woodington Dean Well was excavated between 1858 and 1862 by Brighton and Hove's Guardians of the Poor as part of Woodington Dean Workhouse construction. The initial goal was to provide a reliable water supply for the workhouse inmates, but the project turned into an engineering challenge that took nearly four years to complete. Due to rising pressure and the potential for flooding from underground water sources, the excavation got harder as the well grew deeper. To address this problem, the workers constructed a number of brick castings inside the well to strengthen its construction and stop water intrusion. Further down into the surface at around 600 meters, we have the deepest known vertical drop inside a cave in the Krubera Voranya Cave, also known as the Voranya Cave, located in Arabica Massif of the Western Caucasus in the country of Georgia. This dangerous vertical drop, known as the Main Abyss, plunges to a depth of about 603 meters, 1,978 feet. The vertical drop in the Krubera Voranya is not only incredibly deep, but it's also dangerous to navigate due to its sheer walls, cold temperatures, and the risk of rockfalls. Specialized equipment such as ropes, harnesses, and descenders, as well as extensive experience in vertical caving techniques, are required to safely explore this part of the cave. Close to 1,000 meters, we have Bingham Canyon Mine, also known as the Kennecott Copper Mine, which is an open pit mine located in the Oka Mountains near Salt Lake City, Utah. With a width of 4 kilometers, 2.5 miles, and a depth of nearly 970 meters, this mine is one of the world's largest and deepest excavations, 3,182 feet. The Rio Tinto Group, a multinational British-Australian firm, is the operator of the Bingham Canyon Mine, which has been in operation since 1906. The sheer immensity of the Bingham Canyon Mine is among its most amazing features. The pit has been named the biggest man-made excavation on Earth due to its size, which is so vast that it can be seen from space. The size of the mine's operations requires the use of massive fleets of heavy equipment, such as enormous haul trucks and hydraulic shovels, to transport enormous amounts of ore and rock. The deepest concert ever held took place on May 4, 2007, in the Pia Salami Mine, Finland. The Finnish metal band Agonizer performed a unique show at a depth of 1,410 meters, 4,626 feet, below the Earth's surface. This one-of-a-kind event has earned the band a place in the Guinness World Records for the world's deepest underground concert. The audience, consisting of around 100 attendees, had to descend into the mine via an elevator wearing protective gear such as helmets and overalls for safety. They were led to the concert location once they had entered the mine, 
where they took in exceptional live music performances while underground. The performance by Agonizer posed a significant logistical problem, in addition to being a remarkable experience for the audience. It took meticulous preparation and execution to move the band's equipment, which included instruments, amplifiers, and lighting, to such depths. Further down is the deepest and oldest freshwater lake in the world. Lake Baikal is located in southern Siberia, Russia. It is also regarded as one of the purest lakes in the world, having an impressive diversity of animals. The lake is a UNESCO World Heritage Site due to its ecological and cultural significance. Lake Baikal reaches an astounding depth of 1,642 meters, 5,387 feet, making it the deepest lake in the world. The lake's average depth is about 744 meters, 2,440 feet, which is also considerably deeper than most other lakes. Lake Baikal contains around 20% of the Earth's unfrozen fresh water with a volume of about 23,600 cubic kilometers, 5,700 cubic miles. The lake is approximately 25 million years old and has a unique geological history. It was formed due to the Earth's crust pulling apart along the Baikal Rift Zone, resulting in the formation of a rift valley that filled with water over time. The lake continues to widen by a few centimeters each year as the rift continues to expand. The Moab Kotsong Mine is a gold mine located near the town of Orkney in South Africa, Northwest Province. It is one of the deepest mines in the world with the main shaft reaching a depth of approximately 3,132 meters, 10,276 feet below the Earth's surface. The mine is operated by Harmony Gold Mining, which acquired it from Anglo Gold Ashanti in 2018. The Moab Kotsong mine started production in 2003 and its deep underground operations require advanced technology and engineering methods to access the gold bearing ore safely and efficiently. The mine uses a combination of conventional underground mining techniques such as long hole stopping, drift and fill mining and scattered mining. Due to the extreme depths, miners use a cage elevator to travel from the surface to the working levels. The descent takes around 4.5 minutes but if someone were to fall from the top, it would take about 25 seconds to reach the bottom, which is a terrifying thought. One of the deepest parts of the observable world is the Mariana Trench, located in the Western Pacific Ocean, east of the Mariana Islands. The trench is a crescent-shaped underwater canyon formed by the subduction of the Pacific Plate beneath the Mariana Plate. It is an area of intense scientific interest due to its extreme depth, unique geological features, and diverse array of organisms that inhabit this extreme environment. At Challenger Deep, the Mariana Trench's deepest point, it can be found at a maximum depth of roughly 10,994 meters, 36,070 feet. The Deep Sea Challenger, a submersible vehicle built for deep sea exploration, which was commanded by explorer and filmmaker James Cameron, took this measurement in 2010. If Mount Everest, the highest mountain above sea level, were placed at the bottom of the trench, Challenger Deep, the deepest point on Earth, it would be covered by more than 2 kilometers, 1.2 miles, of water. It is extremely difficult to explore the Mariana Trench because of the intense pressure there, which is more than 1,000 times greater than the pressure at sea level. Despite these extreme conditions, various organisms have been found living in the trench, including microorganisms, deep sea fish, and invertebrates such as amphipods and sea cucumbers. One would imagine that the pressure at Mariana Trench's depth would be the limit, but in fact, humans have gone much deeper. The Kola Superdeep Borehole located at Kola Peninsula in northwest Russia. The drilling reached an impressive depth of 12,262 meters, 40,230 feet, making it the deepest artificial point on Earth at the time. The borehole is composed of several holes branching out from a central hole, with the deepest branch, named SG3, being the most famous. As the drilling continued deeper, scientists encountered numerous technical challenges and surprises. One of the most significant findings was the discovery of water at depths of 7 kilometers, 4.3 miles, which was unexpected at such depths. The researchers also found that the Earth's crust was thinner than previously thought and that the rock at the bottom of the borehole was much hotter than anticipated. At the final depth of 12,262 meters, the temperature reached a scorching 180 degrees Celsius, 356 degrees Fahrenheit, making further drilling impossible with the available technology. 
However, even this mammoth exploration was eclipsed by the Z-44 Chevo Oil and Gas Well, located off the coast of Sakhalin Island in Russia, which currently holds the record of the deepest extended reach drilling RED well in the world. Operated by Exxon Neft Gas Limited, a subsidiary of Exxon Mobil, the Z-54 Chevo well is part of the larger Sakhalin 1 project, which is an international consortium led by Exxon Mobil. The Z-44 Chevo well is deeper than the Kola Super Deep Borehole, reaching an astounding depth of 12,376 meters, 40,604 feet. Advanced ERD technology, which enables drilling at extreme angles and distances from the drilling rig, and allows for the extraction of oil and gas deposits that would otherwise be inaccessible, was used to drill the well. To access reservoirs in environmentally delicate or technically difficult locations, such as beneath the sea floor or in the Arctic, ERD wells are crucial. It was necessary to create and use cutting-edge drilling technologies for the Z44 Chevo well, as well as specialized equipment that could endure the tremendous pressure, high temperatures and abrasive conditions present at such great depths. The success of Z44 Chevo well demonstrates the incredible engineering achievements that can be accomplished in the pursuit of valuable energy resources. The Earth is truly a magnificent example of fascination and wonder. And while human efforts and technology have made it possible to explore so much of it, so much still remains. The depth of the Earth's crust is about 70,000 meters, and the deepest explored area is 12,000 meters deep. This just goes to show how little humans have explored relative to the size of the planet. Its realizations like these put human existence and knowledge into perspective about how we have achieved so much but have the potential for so much more. If you found this video interesting, please hit the like button and share your thoughts in the comments section. Lastly, do not forget to subscribe. We'll be back soon.